Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you're well and you've had a lovely weekend. Um, sun is shining again today, so that's lovely. I'm very excited to show you our makes today. So um, we're going to be making some beautiful necklaces and earrings, and we're going to be using uh, the Rivoli drops. Now, on Friday, we made rat tail um, macrame bracelets, and we were using the Rivoli in them, but this time today, we're using the beautiful teardrop shape. So they're really beautiful, very sparkly, um, and we're going to make a little bit of a statement piece, I suppose, today. So if you have somewhere lovely to go um, and you want to show them off, then um, definitely is a make for you today. So good morning charlotte how are you doing today she says good morning natalie hello everybody so hope you're well we've got mina in this morning good morning mina hope you're okay good morning lucy good morning natalie hope you're well um so i'm hoping today we won't have um any technical gremlins like we did last week um, I hope it all goes smoothly, um, but I'm very excited to show you these. So I won't spend too long saying good morning to you this morning. Um, do let me know, though, what the weather's like where you are, because, you know, I'm always interested. Uh, good morning, Angela. Hope you're well. We've got Shirley in as well. Oh, from Florida. Good morning or good evening. I don't know what it is for you there, Shirley, but um, hope you're OK. Good morning, Gwen. How are you doing? Lucy also agrees everything's going to go smoothly so far. Well, that's good. You can see me okay. You can hear me all right. We'll just hope when um, we share the website that it, it doesn't have any issues. Um, it wouldn't be the same if there were no gremlins. <laughs> I know, but it stresses me out a little bit. Hello, Helen. She says it's beautiful in Halifax. Uh, good morning, Jitty. Hope you're all right as well. So, yeah, nice weather today. Uh, it was raining yesterday um but when it stopped we were still able to go out for a walk done a lot of walking this weekend which was lovely to get out into the fresh air so i hope you've had a nice weekend too camille says um hope you're well loving the blue skies here well i i, I am too um i'm not quite ready to let the sunshine go although i do love autumn um Good morning, Bridget. She says, good morning, Natalie and everyone else. Lovely sunny day in Preston in the Lanx. Uh, Bridget's here as well. Good morning, Bridget. And Natalie says, um, don't stress, just go with the flow, honey. I will. I'll try not to look too flustered. It's 5 a.m. in Florida. Wow. Shirley, thank you so much for um, joining us because I think I'd probably... Well, 5 a.m., I'm still asleep, hoping the alarm doesn't go off too soon. Uh, Natalie says it's a little bit overcast in Colchester. <laughs> and Lucy says, um, don't stress, mistakes just prove you're not a robot. I'm not technical enough to be a robot, Lucy, you know that. Okay, let's see if we can take you over to the website. Um, and we don't have any freezing hopefully you'll get to see it okay today so if this is working you should be seeing our beautiful website totallybeads.co.uk and you can scroll down to the video tutorial link just here so have a little look today is our rivoli drops um, and these are the beauties that you're going to be making so we've got a stunning amethyst black diamond champagne lavender peacock pink velvet purple um, and a sapphire too and they are absolutely all beautiful i will show you um them all on my mat i haven't been able to decide which one's my favorite so i'm gonna cheat today and i'm gonna make um a mixed one and um, they are 15 percent off they are 8.49 today um so if you would like to make a mixed one and you can afford to treat yourself to a few then i mean they're all stunning let's show you what you get in your kits you're getting all sorts so you're going to get uh, your Rivoli and the holders, the little cases for them. You're going to get one of your larger ones, four of your medium sized ones and four of your smaller ones as well, because we're going to be making some little earrings to go with them. Um, 
You're also going to get your um, four and six millimeter glass pearl beads in beautifully matching colors. And you're also going to get your four millimeter crystal uh, round beads as well. You've also got your tiger tail and your findings in there. So there's nothing at all apart from maybe a couple of tools that you're going to need um, if you get this kit today for $8.49, you're getting everything you need in there. And they're absolutely beautiful. Look at those goodies. So I'm going to eagerly just take you back down onto the mat because um, I need to show you them in their beautiful flesh and sparkle. Let me just have a sip of drink. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> I think Lucy's seen the pink one, hasn't she? She says, very pretty. Mina's pointing out, uh, Lucy, there's a pink necklace. You get the earrings to match as well. Uh, she's also, Lucy, very kindly um, shared the link for you there. So you can click on that and go directly to it. So let me show you the mat and you can see them in all their glory. They are so beautiful. Okay, so you are getting your... Revoli crystal drops in this beautiful tiered drop shape. Now they are acrylic, but they are cut and faceted. So they look at the sparkle on them. They've also got like a foiled back. So that means they absolutely catch the light. And as I say, they are just a gorgeous statement piece. So you're getting, this is the larger size. You're also gonna get four of your medium sizes. And we've also got the very beautiful little sparkly ones too. You're gonna get four of those in your kit so you can add them onto your necklace and you can also make your earrings with those. You're gonna get your string of pearls to match and your crystals your strings will be longer than these i've already been making quite a few using these beauties so you're going to get some lovely color matches there and let me show you what they look like so the first one i'm going to show you is the amethyst can you see that there and you'll see each time I've been stringing the pearls, I've done a completely different design with each one. I've had so much fun with these. They're so easy to do and they're just beautiful. And you will get your earrings as well. I haven't put the hooks on those ones yet. So that is your amethyst. I think you're going to be like me today. You're going to struggle to decide what colour you want. Um, Lucy says it's a bargain price for a stunning necklace. It really is. I think they just, they look expensive. They really do. Um, your Rivalis are made of acrylic. Um, but the way they're faceted, they just look so beautiful. This one is the black diamond. So you're getting your clear um, Rivalis. I always wonder how to say, I think it's Ravoli. It's not ravioli. It's definitely not the pasta. So that one is your black diamond. I've just dropped one of my little cases. And I know I'll be needing that, so do excuse me. Okay, so that one's the black diamond. We have a gorgeous champagne. And your cases are going to match and your findings are going to match as well. So... There'll be either a gold colour to match your cases or they'll be in silver and your findings will match them as well. Riv Oli, says Lucy. Riv Oli. OK, correct me if I um, pronounce it wrong. And you can see here each time I've been stringing on my pearls and my crystals, I have been changing the design. So I've done some here where I'm stringing them all onto both of the strands and then separately so there's so much you can do with this in terms of making this unique to you in your own design this one i think is possibly my favorite this is the lavender and i i just the color in this is so pretty 
look at the sparkles and again i've just strung this one so they're all going on one but you have having the crystals in that as well just makes that sparkle go all the way through your necklace these have been probably one of my favorite things to make um it's a really simple make this one is your peacock and the colours in this are beautiful. I'll show you the little earrings too. And again, there's numerous different ways you can string your beads onto your earrings. So that is the peacock one. Sheila says, good morning, Natalie and everyone. Had trouble getting onto the site this morning, um, but I'm here now. Well, welcome, Sheila. You've not missed anything um, of the make yet. I've just been showing the absolute beauties and teasing you with all the colours you can choose from. This one is the Pink Lucy. Pop the earrings down too. They're just so lovely. And the crystals in this one are, I think, that extra bit gorgeous. They've got like a mermaid kind of goldy pink shimmer to them so i think that complements that one particularly well it's still going there's still more colors to choose from this one is your purple velvet and i absolutely love this one too it's such a deep i mean it's called velvet for a reason it's got such a deep beautiful color to it and I promise you, my light in here is not doing it any justice whatsoever. As I say, I think if you were going somewhere a bit special, they'll be gorgeous at Christmas. Um, I know we've had a few birthdays recently, so if anyone was going out for a birthday, maybe, I don't know. We, My husband used to have um, fancy like work do's like balls with his company and i just think one of these depending on what dress i was wearing would just look beautiful but i'm wearing it today i'm not planning on going anywhere fancy but i think you know every day should be a special occasion shouldn't it so you can wear these around the house there's nothing wrong with that this one is the sapphire I'm just reading through your comments you're all just saying how beautiful <laughs> Sheila says, wow, these are beautiful. Bring on a cruise. Yeah, this would look nice at captain's dinner, wouldn't it? So look at the sapphire one. I mean, for me, I'm usually drawn to blues and purples, but I'm loving the peacock. I'm loving the lavender. I'm loving them all. So that's why I'm going to be a little bit naughty today and I'm not going to make up one colourway. I'm going to show you using a few of them and that way everyone's included regardless of what they've chosen. Okay, so as I say, you're getting your Rivolis and you can choose really how many you want to put on them. But I think they look lovely when you graduate them like this. Now, you're going to want it, let me bring this one back in, you're going to want them to kind of make this shape so it's grouped together. So I'm going to use the larger um, pearls, glass pearls at the bottom and the smaller ones at the top and that's going to bring that together in a little bit for you and give you that lovely shape. Now, in terms of the earrings, you've got the small ones. So they're going to be still lovely statement earrings. If I just very quickly bring myself up, you can see these are the smaller ones. So depending on how many beads you want to add to them, you can make them longer, you can make them smaller. They just dangle really, really pretty and they catch the light. So they're going to be used for your earrings. But because you're getting so much in this kit, if you wanted to make a bracelet with them, I mean, you might just want to have one piece on your necklace and make that as your statement. Um, 
you know, you could always, I don't know, you could just use the matching pearls and crystals and make the bracelet that way. Or if you wanted to, you could position them round and make a bracelet that way. But for now, I'm going to hold them this way up. Okay, so let's get making. Let's show you how easy this is. So I'm going to cut two lengths of my tiger tail. And again, it's entirely up to you at what length you want to have your necklace. Um, depends on the ball gown that you're wearing it with. Just going to trim two lengths of that. Possibly a little bit long, but we'll see. Okay, so you're cutting your two lengths. And what you'll find on the little cases, let's bring these in. On your little cases, you've got four holes. So you've got one here and above and the same on the other side. So when we make the E-rings, I tend to string them up vertically, but when we're doing the necklace, we're going to do it horizontally. So we're going to string through there. Now you can put your revolleys in first if you like. They're going really easy. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. But I think it's probably a little bit easier to string these cases on first. And um, you won't see those little holes once they're in. Aileen says she has... Put the champagne one in my basket. I just need to work out what else I need to order. Well, if it's just this you're making, absolutely nothing, because everything comes in this kit for a bargain price of $8.49 today. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take one end of my tiger tail and I'm just going to thread that through as easy as that, just on those bottom ones. And I'm going to get my pearls ready. So larger pearls going on the bottom. And I'm just going to string those on in between each one. So I find it easier to lay out my cases or my holders for these in the order in which I want. So I'm not going to forget. But as I say, it's entirely up to you which way and how you have these. I think they look lovely having these extra little medium ones in the side. But if you wanted, you might just want to, to use one of these. So, bead going on. And through the bottom holes horizontally on the case. And just repeat that until you get to the end. Sue says the purple velvet is lush. It is lush. They're all so lovely. I mean, the good thing is the fact I get to see and make up all of these different colours means, you know, I get to kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit because I always pick the blues and I think... It's um, nice sometimes to have a change. I'm wearing purples today. So that's why I've kind of, purples and bronzes. So that's why I've gone for this little mix. Okay, so all I've done there is just put the larger pearls. So your six millimeter pearls onto each end just gonna turn that one around coating sometimes can be slightly over your hole so you need to just pop that through they do all fit and they go on really easy so there we go we've got one of the larger pearls in between Lucy says, I always go for pinks and rose golds, but lately I've been going for everything else I see. <laughs> okay, 
So you've got that like this, and we're going to do the same again, only this time, I just cut the end of my pearls, we are going to add the smaller pearls, so the four millimetre in between. And as I say, that's going to kind of gather them together. So we're going through the top, make sure you're not putting them through the little holes in the connectors, the, as in these bits at the top that stick up, they're going to act as like your prong settings to kind of hold your revolleys in place. We're going through the little holes underneath them at the bottom, so at the base of the holders. So pearl on through the bottom. They are so easy to do. And you can have an awful lot of fun designing how you're going to string those pearls and crystals on. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm just going to make it up and see as I go. So we're just stringing that through. Adding our smaller pearl. Bringing it through. Adding on our smaller pearl. And I'm going to add one on to each end as well. If you can, if you prefer, you can start from your larger one in the middle and work out on either side. This is just this is just how I do it. So you'll see as we gather these up and we add our others onto the end, this will start to sit nicely together, and you can push them in as much as you want to make that shape. Lucy says it does look like a nice easy project to do with a stunning result. It really is. It really is very simple and very sparkly and beautiful. So now it's entirely up to you what you want to do with these. So I tend to bring both of my tiger tail strands together by popping a pearl onto both of those ends. But all of your crystals and your pearls, whether you're even using the four mil, will fit onto both of your strands of tiger tail. So I'm just adding this one through. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to just stagger the ends of your tiger tail and then it might go through a little bit easier together. So as you see, when I pull that up, it kind of gathers. And you don't have to have it that taut, but I quite like that shape. Sue says, I've made a point of buying beads to match my many different t-shirts this year to make me use different colorways. That's a really good idea, Sue. And then you've got something for all occasions, haven't you? Oh, Charlotte, thank you so much for the stars. Thank you to our star senders. It is very much appreciated. Okay, I'm gonna start adding on that little bit of sparkle going through the necklace now. So I'm gonna take, again, both of my ends of my tiger tail and I'm popping my crystal onto both of them. See how easy they go on. And then you can just have fun playing about with your design. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. Um, I might just to be a little different. 
add my smaller pearls onto one length of my tiger tail but they do go over both of them so if you want to just have one kind of straight running string a tiger tail around that's fine putting one on each end here as long as it matches on both sides um, I tend to find unless I'm doing um, you know more of a straightforward pattern repeat I will do both sides at the same time just to just to make sure I've got that symmetry and then I'm going to add another crystal but I'm popping that on both so I'm bringing them together again a little bit of fluff off my mat there on my finger Karen says, good morning, everybody. I'm late this morning. These are lovely. They are Karen. You can catch up again by all means watching the beginning of the video. You've not missed too much at the moment. I've just been showing off how gorgeous these Ravollis are. I love the teardrop shape. Um, usually when I'm I don't know why wrapping crystals and things I, I always am drawn to the teardrop shape so I'm just going to carry on doing that little pattern so it was two of the four mil on the separate strands on either side bringing them together with one of my gorgeous four mil crystals and all of the colours um, as I say whichever colour way you choose your glass pearls and your crystals are really going to look lovely with those had a lot of fun picking and choosing and I just I think you get you get so much in your kit um, because you're getting those crystals and your pearls have I done this right yeah okay so now we're doing the larger one again I might just start doing one side just to show you how we finish that off so what colors are you thinking is your favorite oh Victoria asks could you reverse the crystals with the pearls you most certainly can you can do whatever you want to do with them um I'll show you some of the different ones oh. I doubled up on that one, didn't I? I'll show you some of the, the different ones that I've done in terms of how I put them together. So here I've just used a larger pearl, a crystal, a small pearl, a crystal, a larger pearl. And I've just ran that all the way through on one. On the champagne, I have split them and brought it back together and then split them and brought it back together and I actually think that makes a really lovely lovely effect get that in focus it's because I've got these on my mat we'll move these slightly out the way on the sapphire again I just ran them all the way through on one length And you don't have to include the smaller pearls, the large pearls, all the crystals. But I think just giving it that little 
mix you know you're getting them in you're getting an awful lot in your kit you might as well use them um but there will be probably more than plenty for you to make yourself a matching bracelet um you're getting your findings as well so all we're going to do to finish this off is add our clots our crimp beads um lobster clasp and your jump rings uh, so we had two small one crystal, one large. So yeah, it's entirely up to you what you want to do with them, how you want to design them. Aileen says, I'm always drawn to blues and purples, but I do try and consider if I may want to give it as a gift. So colours will choose for that purse and what they like. That's a really valid point as well. Um, you know, if, if you're selling your jewellery, if you've got maybe uh, a website or maybe a, I don't know, a market type store, like a craft fair, it is nice to have lots of colour options and lots of choices um, for your customers because not everybody's the same, which is good because it'd be a pretty bland world if we all liked exactly the same stuff um so yeah absolutely very much a valid point to make sure that you you know you're considering what is it if i made a mistake there big too little crystal big too little yeah i mean it really doesn't matter providing they're the same on each way but i'm, I'm not concentrating i'm too busy chatting <laughs> Uh, crystal big I tend to um have a little little rhyme in my head so I'll often be sitting there making something going big little crystal big little crystal or whatever my pattern is much to the annoyance of my husband who's often trying to to watch something while I'm chattering away to myself Okay, Victoria says, I like the pattern you're doing, but would do two crystals, then the pearl. Well, Victoria, you need to do that, and then you need to show me what that looks like. I'm kind of tempted to swap now and have a little look, but I won't. I'll keep going with the way I'm doing it. And as I say, this is what I've really, really enjoyed about this project, just being able to change it up um have a little play around with what i think looks nice um and you know if you're wanting to make a bracelet you can use one of the rivolis in your bracelet as well or a couple of them whatever you you want to do with it um two little crystal and then you can, um, you know, play around with all the different ways in which you want to string them up. And it's also not the end of the world if you do decide, actually, I don't like the look of that. I'd rather do it a different way. You can just take them off. Um, it doesn't take long to do. Or if you've got your beading tray, you might want to lay them out and have a little look first at what order you want to put them on. Right, so I'm going to just show you how to finish these now. And then I'll add our revolleys into the cases and I will show you how to do the earrings. So when you get to the end of the pattern, whatever that you've done in terms of how you're making, you're gonna to need to get some of your findings out of your kit. And that will be two of your collots. I tend to use two crimp beads on each end, but it, 
is entirely up to you. I just always feel it's that little bit safer, especially if you're using more like heavy materials and things. You're going to need your jump ring and you're also going to need your lobster clasp. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to thread both of my tiger tail ends through that clot and I'm going to keep it that way. Am I in focus okay? I say it's because I've got so much stuff on my mat. Let's move those out of the way for now. See if that helps. So I'm going to have it opened up that way. And then I'm going to add, without dropping them, my crimp bead again over both of those ends so they're sitting inside can you see please out the way again then we might be able to see a little bit more in focus what we're doing okay and then all i'm going to do with my flat nose pliers is just pinch them crimp beads so they are squished flat together and then that's not going to fall off that's not going anywhere those beads on your string are nice and secure and then i'm just going to trim off the ends of that tiger tail and close them down and also give them a little bit of a close gently because you don't want to squish your case or your collot and just pinch them down. Now I'm going to open my jump ring so I'm going to use two sets of my pliers you can use your round nose as well but i don't like opening them with the round nose i just like holding them in place with the round nose if i'm using my round nose and we're gonna just get a good grip of that so there's just a little bit in the middle i'm just gonna either move it towards me or away from me to open that up remember with your jump rings you're not opening them out because we're not gonna distort that shape if we open them this way and then you're going to need to put one jump ring on one end so once you've done that you can put it on one end and on the other you're going to use your jump ring and your clasp as well so I'm just using the little lobster claw one and then we're going to hold them together again and we're just going to go back slightly past that opening point. Don't know whether you heard it, but it just clicked in place, which means that's perfectly closed now. And once you've done it on the other side as well, you've then got your necklace. Am I in focus? Is this looking okay? Okay, how to add your beautiful revolis into your cases now these are really easy to do so i'm making sure that they're going to be in the same size cases so all i've done is i've used the large one in the middle i've got two of the medium ones either side and finished off with a small one and this is how easy they go in you're literally just laying them placing them so the foiled side is going into the case and I'm just going to push them gently with my fingers so I'm going to do diagonal so I'm going to do the top one and one of the bottom ones and again on the other side and that is how easy it is you don't need any tools you just need to gently push them into your revolley and then that's not going anywhere now and then just move up your size 
popping it in flat and bending them down on either side and they just go in so lovely so simple to do all I want to make sure is that when I'm getting usually the big one in that it's going flat into that case so it's not sticking up over one end or anything like that and I'm just doing exactly the same popping it in bending those prongs I think we'll call them just around the stone Do you think they look really expensive? I don't think you'd look at this and think £8.49. So you are getting that 15% discount as well today. So that's how it will look. Obviously, you'll carry on doing your beads up that way. Uh, question says Jodie, think a dab of glue help reinforce the Rivoli? Um, you don't need them. You really don't need them. You can add glue if you want to, but you really don't need them. Um, I'm going to just give this a good shake. They're not going anywhere. They are. The cases are perfectly matched and made to hold and size these. So providing you're using the right size case, which again, you're getting in your kit, these are going to hold in place. You don't need that glue. But if you want it, if you feel like it would be more secure, you can do. I just think you'd have to be careful with the glue because, because they are shaped so they're domed at the back. The glue is only really going to touch this domed part here unless you put a lot of glue on. And you don't want it seeping out the back and things like that um i i i personally wouldn't bother with the glue but if you really want to then that's your call um <laughs> i don't know what's going on here camille has said um to lucy you didn't sit on your hands very hard then does this mean lucy you've been purchasing what did you get she says no did you get the did you get the pink ones after all then Um, don't be blaming me. Don't be blaming me. Blame Totally Beads and Simon at the warehouse for giving you such beautiful, beautiful offers. Okay, so how to do your earrings. Again, really straightforward. You're going to take your, you'll have your smallest ones in um as extras but if you wanted to maybe make um these without um two of the medium ones you might just want it with the one medium one then you've got those two extra medium ones as well so it's entirely up to you what size you want to use with these um so you are making sure that they're going to fit in your cases that you pick the right ones out which i have and then you're going to cut a little length of tiger tail. You're going to cut two lengths, two lengths, the same length. Like so. Just going to move them out of the way. So what I'm going to do this time is instead of running the tiger tail through horizontally, I'm going to put it up vertically. So I'm just going to put it through the bottom coming out the top and then I'm going to go round the back so it's going through the bottom again and out round the top so it will look like this uh, Pauline says I had trouble putting the Rivoli's in last time I made I made them getting them in so hopefully they work this time 
I've not struggled with them poorly, and I thought they've gone in really quite quite well. A um, little bit of practice, maybe. So I'm just pulling those tail ends up. So the tiger tail is now hugging the back of the case. And I'm going to pull it up quite firmly because I don't want you to be able to see this tiger tail from the front. So there you can't see anything but the case. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm probably going to pop this in first this time. So once you've popped your Revoli into the case, you're not going to see those holes as such. Pushing them down either side. So I tend to pinch it. So my thumb on one, my finger on the top, doing a horizontal and then on the opposite side. And all I'm going to do now is try and decide again how I would like my beads, what length I would like. So on these ones, I have added two little crystals and the smaller four millimeter glass pearl. On these ones, I've done crystal, the six mil pearl and a crystal. It's entirely up to you how you want them. Um, you might wanna echo the design that you've done in your necklace. It really doesn't matter. Um, I think I'm going to do a crystal on either side. And then I'm going to bring it together with the large pearl. And then I'm going to pull them down so they sit nice. And I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think that looks nice enough. All I would say is obviously you want your earrings to match. So whatever you do, do them the same. So again, bring in that tiger tail up through the bottom, out of the top. Again, on the other side, through the bottom and out of the top. If you're struggling to get it through, you can just get your pliers and position that a little bit. But seem to have gone through fine for me. I'm going to gently pull them up so that's not peeking out the bottom like so. I'm going to add in my Rivoli into the case. And then I'm going to add exactly the same as what I did just to match the other one. A crystal. I can find the hole. There it is. They're just so shiny. On to either side. Uh, Victoria says, do the extra drop? come with the holding bases they do indeed yeah so you're going to get all of the bases and all of your volleys in the same um i needed a large pearl there didn't i in the same sizes to match so you're going to get your one of your large ones with one large case you're going to get four of your medium sized ones with the matching cases and four of the small ones with the matching cases Okay, so when I'm happy, I've got that with the design that I want. I'm going to do exactly the same as I would have done when finishing off the necklace. Only this time I'm going to be adding an earring hook to it instead of my um, jump ring and my lobster clasp. So I am popping my collar onto both of the tiger tail ends and bringing that right down to the top of my last bead or crystal. I'm going to add 
a crimp bead over both and another crimp bead over both again i'm going to just push that down slightly with my finger just to hold it in place where i want to i'm going to take my flat nose and i'm going to pinch them down I'm going to cut off my excess I'm going to close that over and then I'm going to take my ear wire The green one kind of looks like a lady in a big skirt. <laughs> yeah, it does. I think they're quite sweet. <laughs> they do, Camille. I like your imagination. Uh, yes, I've just answered that one, haven't I? Okay, so we're going to open up our earring hook like so thread that through the clot we need to open that up a little bit more do I yes I think I do and then closing that over And there you are, your matching earring. So that is how simple it is to do. For £8.49, you can choose whatever beautiful colour you want. Let's say I've done a mix and I've, I've cheated there and put different colours together because I just couldn't decide. I kind of wanted them all. Um, Jodie says, um, you sell extra cases and findings. Yes, of course we do, Jodie. Uh, go on to the website, uh, totallybeads.co.uk. You can um, type in what it is that you're looking for. You can type in uh, Rivoli. You can type in um, Rivoli cases. Well, I'm sure when you click on the Rivoli, the cases will come up matching for them as well. You can type in whatever findings you want, or you can click in the findings section um, and you'll see all the variety of different ear wires and things that you want to choose from um, and all of your extra findings. Look at the purples. Um, so yeah, your hardest job today, I think, is trying to decide what colours you would like because they're all so lovely. Um, and I think that's it. I tried to speed it up a little bit so you weren't watching me just thread on the beads of, of all the necklace. But I think you'll find the process is really straightforward, very easy to do um, and really enjoyable to make as well. So um, what are we doing on Friday? Oh, Friday, I'm going to be doing um, earrings and pendants for you. Uh, something a little bit different. We're going to be using connectors, um, a little bit of wire. Um, but nothing too tricky. Um, and we're using drops again, but not the same as these ones. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just enjoying working my way through all the stock and going, oh, we need to use them. Oh, I want to make something with them. So um, in my element at the moment. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you'll be back with me on Friday, same time, 10 o'clock. Um, and over the next few weeks, I will be with you every Monday, every Friday, I say the next few weeks, next few months for the foreseeable future. Um, so I'm hoping to do something a little bit different um, each each week. We've got um, loads of different things coming up. We've got lots of bracelets. Um, we're going to be using all sorts of different materials. Um, so, yes, yeah, stay tuned um, and please come and join us. If you are in the Totally Handmade group, and if you're not, well, why aren't you? Get in there. Um, I would just like to say a huge, huge thank you to you all who are um, making things that we do together in the live and then sharing your makes. 
there has been some absolute beauties in there um this week i've been just blown away by the different takes that you've done with the um rat tail macrame that we did last week um yeah i love seeing how you take the idea and make it better um it's really inspiring if the group are a lovely bunch so if you need any help uh you're struggling with anything maybe you can't find something on the website maybe you can remember watching a tutorial but can't find the link to it there's always somebody there who will help um so do join the group lucy has shared that as well so get yourself in there it's lovely um, so thank you so much for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a lovely week um, and I will see you on Friday. Kitty's going to be back with you Wednesday. Um, not sure what she's doing. Um, oh, I've got an idea, but no. So tune in on Wednesday as well um, and I look forward to seeing you at the end of the week. So love and light to you all. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye.